Hey everyone and welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a sort of intuitive piece uh, for Valentine's Day. Well, at least in that spirit. Um, in the beginning, I'm going to be working wet on wet. So here I'm just wetting down my whole piece of paper. So I used a watercolor block 5x7. At first I kind of didn't really know what I was going to be doing. I just knew that I was going to do a heart. <laughs> And I just started dropping pigment down to see uh, where it was going to lead me. And that's usually the best way to work, in my opinion. And that's how I do work. My, I, it's, that's how I work most of the time, is just by uh, experimenting. Whether it's watercolors or acrylics, uh, that's what I do. I always do my mark making in the beginning sometimes well, at least with my acrylic work I put my canvases ahead of time and I put a lot of texture and layers on before I even know where it's going so here I'm working with a lot of water here I just kept dropping a lot of water and a lot of pigment so you see it's pretty saturated dropping in some white watercolor here and kind of just letting the color sort of mingle in with the color that's already on there. I'm here I'm just dropping in some more of that pigment. I, I, I'll put it in the description box but I believe I used two different palettes when I was doing this. Um, in the beginning stages Right here, I was using the Van Gogh uh, watercolor palette, and later on, I was using, towards the end, I was using the um, Magello Mission watercolor palette. I, I think they're pretty comparable to each other. Um, I like them both. A lot of bright, vibrant colors. Here, I just, I was adding in water. That's dirty water <laughs> from my jar. Um, I had painted with um, acrylics the day before and I didn't clean out my water jar. And it had been, all the paint sediment had settled to the bottom and when I went in and um, cleaned my watercolor brush, uh, it brought some of that color in. So I just kind of went with it. <laughs> So I'm just kind of, um, I'm still want to keep the white spaces. So I'm just kind of like dinging into the wet heart a little bit to let some of that watercolor flow out. So I'm being a little, a little careful not to take all the white space out. Because if I do, the heart will just bleed in completely into the, the wet background. And I want to keep some definition of that heart. And I'm just experimenting. I'm dropping in different colors. Different blues and purples and pinks.
just dropping in some more color, give it some more interest, a little bit more contrast. As I'm dropping in the pigment, so I'm using a lot of water to kind of disperse the color around all over the plate. And I'm dropping in different pinks and reds and, and purple, and different purples. I have a couple of different colors here. before I'm using that Van Gogh palette. That thing has fallen apart so many times I don't even, <laughs> I, I know all the colors are out of order and not in its rightful place and they use numbers as their identifiers. I'm just dropping in some salt and I am dropping in pieces of rice. So what the rice does is creates some texture as well. So does the salt. Salt kind of creates more, and because I was layering upon layering watercolor here, the salt didn't really uh, give too much texture. Um, it gave it a little, but um, once you've already, it, it, the salt effect works better when it's done uh, on freshly applied onto white paper. Um, it does work. Depends. This is after everything dried. It's so wet, I had to wait for it to dry. I actually waited a couple things. Now I'm using a palette knife here with some black watercolor paint. Now I'm, not, I'm using the Magello Mission Gold here. Um, these paints are uh, from the tube. So um, <clears throat> can't really use it with the pan watercolors. You can if you really soak it and get them all real juicy again. <laughs> Let a lot of water sit in there. Um, but other than that, you, you, you got to use the, the paint from the tube because you need it to have that creamy texture so that it's spreadable with the palette knife. Now I'm just lining it in, making some marks, and I'm also using the palette knife to spread uh, some water around and make marks into the paint, scratching and pulling and dragging the paint through. Now, now I'm coming in with some of the peacock blue. So I want to create some contrast in the piece because I want to create more contrast and I want to layer more colors on top of each other because layering different colors over other colors creates another color. And putting the blue over the the red and the pinks, but layering the colors like that. It gives it a very whimsical sort of feel. 
Now I'm just spreading out the water, kind of evenly coating. I don't necessarily want the blue to cover everywhere, but I don't want um, big puddles um, sitting on the watercolor paper because it'll create watermarks. Now watermarks are cool um, if you want them there. I didn't necessarily want watermarks there, so I was, as I was putting the pigment down, I was also dis, uh, dispersing the color uh, with more, dispersing the pigment with more water. A little bit of a glare there. I'm dropping more pigment or blue pigment. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next. I'm looking for areas that need some attention. See these areas down here were um, not as dark. So I wanted to pull some uh, pigment and color down in there. When I'm working like this, I'm just where I'm each 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 step I take kind of leads me into the next step. I make my decision based on the prior. Then I got this idea. I said, oh. I think I'm going to add some of my stamps in. So these are just some stamps that I have. And they're kind of cool. They look like um, old apothecary or postage stamps. So I picked out the ones I was going to use. And I'm using a uh, Ranger. I'm using the gray ink pad, dark gray ink pad. And I'm just laying down these stamps kind of haphazardly and randomly. They're made out of plastic, so they kind of stick to the back of a lid of the stamp pad. And then I'll just use that as a stamping device. Now I'm just uh, sprinkling in some wet watercolor. Now um, that's black watercolor, and it's I'm going to just spread it around in different places. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do. I wanted some of the droplets to stay. I wanted to disperse some of them onto the piece, give it more texture and more layered look, kind of blend out even a little bit the stamp that I had put in. But I also wanted to leave some of the splatter marks there. And then I go in, so I'm just trying to give it a little bit, to add different values into here so that um, when I come in later with my pens, uh, the piece will be dark enough that the pens, the, the colored pens that I use, I'll use gold and white and they'll show up as I'm writing. By the way, I used a heat gun 
to dry the piece in between because I was wanted to get it done. <laughs> I was being a little impatient. As a matter of fact, this last process, I, it only took about, oh, about maybe 20 minutes. I mean, even with the heat gun, I edited it out quite a bit, but uh, I edited it out, uh, you know, where I was blow drying and everything, but that's boring. Now I dried that, I'm coming in with my pens and I'm just kind of writing different little sayings, um, different words, inspirational sort of words. I think I wrote Love Conquers All or uh, All We Need Is Love, um, Inspire, those kind of inspirational quotes. Or inspirational words. And that pretty much is it. Um, Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Um, I'd been gone a little. I hadn't had, um, haven't been around. I haven't uploaded any videos lately. It's just, I hadn't really had enough time to focus on the channel, but um, I hope to have more and more videos in the upcoming weeks. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe it helps my channel grow and allows people to find my channel that might be interested in seeing the content uh, and if you have any questions or comments or anything at all please let me know and i will do my best to answer any questions thank you take care and i'll see you in the next one